Welcome! Here on this windowsill are my mesembs, which means plants that belong to the South African family Mesembriantemaceae or Aesoaceae, depending on the nomenclature, depending on the source, depending on the book. They are plants from deserts of South Africa and South Africa is a very interesting continent when it comes to plants because the deserts there and the habitats are not connected. So each desert has its own family of plants, has its own family of uh, succulents, uh, and on each desert the succulentism let's put it this way, is developed in a different way. And in uh, Namib desert, there are plants from the family Mesembriantemaceae, and they belong to different genera. Uh, there are lithops there. This is a lithops, sometimes called a living stone, and there are more lithops here. Uh, this is a lithops. Okay. And there are fenestrarias here. I have four fenestrarias. They belong to two different subspecies. One is yellow, one is white. Uh, this one is yellow, but uh, I can only tell you that because I remember, uh, because the flowers have faded already. This is a Fenestraria as well, and this one is yellow as well, and this one has uh, flower buds. I'm not sure whether you can see them. It will be, it has two flower buds, and it will be in bloom very, very soon. And as you can see on many of these plants, there are remains of flowers. Uh, they were blooming quite beautifully very, very recently. Here is another Lithops. This one is uh, Lithops Dorothea, and it had beautiful white flowers. Uh, and this one... This one is a Falcaria, and... It has a flower, and the flower is not fully open. Uh, just like all Mesembriantemaceae, the flowers open and close. They open when the sun is at its highest, and they close for the night. And uh, because the day is very gloomy today, and because it's raining outside, the flower is not fully opened. And sometimes when the day is really uh, cloudy, when there is not much sun, the flower doesn't open at all. So I decided to make the video even though this uh, flower is only open uh, partially. It is quite interesting because the flowers open depending on the time when the pollinators are active. So the flower is only open when uh, it is important for the flower to be open. Flowers provide a huge surface area for evaporation, so closing them for the night or closing them for the part of the day where pollinators are not active is actually a strategy to save water on a desert where there is not that much water available by, by definition. Mesembriantemasi have a reputation to be difficult plants to keep and some of them are, and some of them are not here anymore because they are difficult. I lost some, but uh, I am quite successful in keeping the, them, and the secret to it is not to water them too much, because uh, Namib Desert is a very one of the driest deserts in the world. They also like fluctuation of temperature, so they don't really mind uh, warm days and very, very cold nights. On the contrary, uh, when it's getting a little bit colder, it triggers flowering. So uh, these mesembs, they start flowering somewhere um, in late October when it's getting colder. 
and depending on the specimen, depending on the species, depending on the on where they are kept, they might bloom uh, even quite late in the winter, just like this one. I made videos about many of these plants last winter, last fall, and the fall before that, and this year I was so busy, and uh, and I was coming home from work when it was dark, so there was no really time to make videos about these plants. There was no really time to uh, show them to you when they were blooming, when they were uh, even more beautiful than they are now. So they will stay here till the end of winter, and then in spring, when the temperatures are a little bit higher, I will start watering them. Start watering them means I will water them once or twice thoroughly and then I will stop watering them until they show signs of wrinkling and then I will give them a little bit of water. In the summertime when it's really hot, they might go through another dormancy period. And then in the fall, when the buds appear, when the flower buds appear, and when it's getting a little co bit colder, they will get another watering, another thorough watering. And then just a tiny little bit from time to time, if they are wrinkled. And throughout the winter, when they are in this room, in this cold room, because this room is not heated at all, uh, they will not get any water at all. Okay? Thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you like my collection of mesems. I'm quite fond of them. They are beautiful plants. They are extremely interesting plants. And what makes them even more attractive is the fact that they are quite difficult to obtain. They are quite difficult to, to find, to buy. Today is the first day of the new year. So I want to wish you a very, very happy new year. May 2023. Bring more reasons to be happy about. Have a great afternoon.